On the previous video, I covered the basics of the transaction history, which includes listing, filtering, and searching for a transaction. In this video, I'm going to cover how to mark a transaction done or processed. The first step is to search for the transaction, which can be done using the search box here. There are multiple ways to find transactions, which are covered on our previous video, but most of the time, you will search the transaction by either directly entering the transaction ID or by searching for the customer and then look into their transactions. When the job is completed, you will need to mark it done. This will trigger a text or email notification to be sent to your customer. To mark a transaction done, you should search by either entering the transaction ID manually or scanning the receipts. For example, if you want to search for order D3, simply type D3 here and then hit enter. The details for D3 are displayed on the screen. Alternatively, instead of searching for a transaction ID by typing it manually, you can use a barcode scanner to scan the barcode on the receipts. This is especially handy if your transaction numbers grow over 10,000 and it's hard to type. If for any reason you don't have the transaction ID, you can search for the customer by display name, first name, middle name, last name, phone number, or email address. And once the customer is found, click on the customer's name to show his or her transactions. Each transaction has three dots on the right side to open the transaction menu. The menu allows you to process, mark, edit, void, or delete the transaction. You can also print or email a transaction, or even send a relevant text message to the customer through this menu. The transaction menu affects all the items in the transaction. Therefore, if I mark the transaction done, all the items in the transaction will be marked done. From the menu, simply select Mark All Done. Here, you get to enter some notes or manually set the percentage of the job processed. You can also create some process buttons in Settings, Processes, to track the progress of the job or to better track staff productivity. Please note that Gilas allows multiple staff to work on the same transaction or even on the very same piece of garment. This information will be used later to provide you with detailed reporting. You can either set the percentage and then click on Mark Done or click on the process buttons to finalize the process. I simply click Mark Done to mark the transaction 100% done. If I click on the transaction to show the details, you can see that all tasks in the transaction are done. If you have imported one of the pre-configured stores, Gilas will automatically send a text message to notify your customer when their job is 100% done. For more information on automated actions, please check our help and documentation on how to set up automated actions. To demonstrate a more complicated scenario, I'm going to search for D8. This order is a mixed dry cleaning and alterations order and therefore has been allocated two order numbers, D8 and A16. If you offer both services in your store, in order to set items in the transaction done individually, you need to click on the transaction to show the details. On the right side of each task, I can click on the menu and then click on Mark Done. Note that this task is done, but the other tasks are still to be done. If the item quantity is more than one, as soon as you click Done, a window will pop up allowing you to select items. You can select one by one, or click the Select All button to select all. Clicking the checkbox will get me to the process window. I'm going to click on 50%. Note that the total progress, as well as the item progress, is updated as soon as I process the transaction. Clicking on the processing text will show you more details and allows you to remove the process. You can find the percentage, date, and time of process and person processing the transaction in here. Clicking on the bin will remove the process. Note that the last status of the order is progressed. To mark the rest of the items done, I simply click on the transaction menu and then select Mark All Done. Last status is now changed to done, meaning the order is 100% done. Clicking on the status will show me the history of the transaction, which includes the date and time of each action and the person responsible. Please note that when I partially mark the items done, the status or progressed will be added. 
On the next video, I'm going to show you how to mark a transaction collected and paid.